this is Nick with Jack Burford Chevrolet. I was going to walk you through some of the features on the 2019 High Country Traverse. Uh, first and foremost, uh, it has the keyless entry right here. So if your key's in your pocket and you're by yourself, you can just push that button to unlock it. And uh, it opens this door. And if you push it twice, it'll open all the doors. Um, if you come to the back back here, this vehicle does have the automatic lift gate. So you can just kick your foot underneath it and it'll actually open. It does have the push button right here as well. On the back of this vehicle, something that might be unusual is it does have two cameras. I'll show you what the other one's for here in a minute. You do have the standard backup camera. Now we're inside the vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of features in here to name off. Uh, it does have the push button start, first and foremost. Uh, this vehicle does have the steering wheel heater. It has heated and cooled seats in the front and heated seats in the rear. Uh, it does have the big touch screen right here with the built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It'll have Bluetooth. Uh, satellite radio, a lot of different features. Uh, it has the screen right here where you can have your uh, off-road view and it shows you how uh, what the angle you're on is. It'll have the digital speedometer, uh, trip A, trip B, and show you your remaining fuel mileage. Uh, a lot of really neat features in this. Uh, it does have the premium Bose sound system. If you look at this right here, this is what the second camera on the back is for. It's got the rear camera view which is uh, pretty much a digital rear view mirror. It's a little bit wider angle and uh, it doesn't have the headrests in the back seat getting in your way when you're trying to look out the back. So this vehicle in the high country has the really nice trim. It does have the brown leather with the uh, suede inserts right here in the door. Uh, power windows, power mirrors, programmable mirrors and seats. Uh, you can program those to the key fobs. It does have the hatch control right here. You can have it set to three quarters or max in case you have uh, low garage or a shelf in the garage that you don't want it to hit. Uh, this vehicle is the all-wheel drive version. It has a two-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and then off-road mode, which gives it a little bit better torque for off-road uh, with better capabilities. It's got push-button park and brake, wireless charging, dual-zone climate control, and then a separate climate control for the back seat. Now, if we want to go ahead and go to the back, I'll uh, show you some features back here. This vehicle is equipped with uh, campus chairs to make it easier to get in and out of the back seat. And this one does have the curbside unloading, so the passenger seat on the passenger side goes all the way forward and uh, makes it really easy to get in and out of the back seat. If we come back to the back one more time, a really nice feature on this is the uh, power seats. You can just push a button and they fold down, and then you can just push a button and fold up and you don't have to reach up there and do it by yourself anymore. The vehicle does come with the armrests in the back seats on the captain's chairs that fold down and you can fold those up to get them out of the way if you need to move around a little bit back here. It does have the rear climate controls that you can control here or from the touch screen up front. Uh, if you have children back here, you could actually control them up there and lock these controls so they can't mess with them. It does have two USB chargers here and then one on each side in the very back seat as well in the third row. It does have a uh, 120 volt uh, home style charger outlet right here in case you need to plug something up that way. Uh, these seats are really comfortable and these are heated seats in the second row as well as the front. Uh, it does have the air conditioning uh, in the second and third rows as well as the uh, second row sunroof which is a really nice feature back here. So I'll walk you through some of the features on the infotainment system here. Uh, you do have your standard audio controls AM, FM, satellite radio as well as the navigation, you can check your weather, uh, text messages through Bluetooth, uh, make phone calls. Projection, that'll turn to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto depending on which kind of device you have plugged in at the time. If you push over, you can actually have the bird's eye view camera right here. It's got four cameras on the outside of this vehicle that uh, make this picture right here. And then it has the front view camera and the rear view camera right here. When you turn the steering wheel, the lines actually move to help back you into parking spots. If you hit the home button right here's the climate controls I was talking about for the rear of the vehicle. You can press this button and you can control the air and heat in the back. And you can actually lock it out just by pressing this. Uh, you can check traffic and you can actually download more apps such as uh, news apps, uh, weather apps, just whatever you want to download onto it. So this vehicle is equipped with a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can connect up to seven devices simultaneously and use the data through the vehicle and save data on your phones. 
Uh, you can get unlimited data with this vehicle and uh, the receiver is a little bit stronger than your cell phone so it'll pick up service when you might not have it on your phones. So this vehicle is equipped with a secret panel right here. You can actually push this button and it'll raise the screen up and you'll have a USB charger you can plug your phone in. Uh, you can just uh, you can actually lock this and use it as storage in case you go somewhere and you want to lock up some valuables. You can put a pin number on it that way you can leave it with a valet and not have to worry about somebody getting into the whatever you have in there. Okay, so now I'll demonstrate how the bird's eye view work. I'll get out and walk around the vehicle and you can actually see me walking around with the cameras. Thanks for watching this walk around of the 2019 High Country Traverse. Uh, if you want to come check one of these out, uh, we're located straight across from Lowe's on the Eastern Bypass, 819 Eastern Bypass in Richmond, Kentucky. My name's Nick, and anybody here would be glad to assist you.